today we're going to be sitting down and recreating Uche's Notori's makeup base routine. I'm excited to have the opportunity to try out new stuff and also learn some new techniques that I possibly could use moving forward. So I'm going to be watching her video on TikTok while I do the routine, you know? So yeah, let's jump right in. First with brows and skin prep. You need to have your skin prep down. Otherwise, it doesn't even matter what you are doing on your base because it's not gonna, it's not gonna slap. I go in with the Vitamin and Rich Cream by Bobbi Brown. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous like face cream. It is, it just feels so nice. So she does first start out with a brow freeze. I don't have the exact one that she used, but I'm gonna be just be going in with the, I'm sorry, the ABH brow freeze here. Make sure is that I like to use, do this with my finger, but I just like scoop over the top. Um, and I like to use a brush like this, like a flat brush. Mine's obviously absolutely filthy. Make a little palette on the back of my hand. And so far, we're looking so good. Now we're gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Primer, which is the exact one that she used. I am so excited, you have no idea. Like, <laughs> my excitement is just really, really high. Welcome to part two. We're going to be getting into foundation, matching foundation, blending foundation. For foundation, I'm mixing NARS Natural Long Wear and NARS Soft Map. I brush like this. This is just from Estee Lauder. Okay, so she blends her foundation out with a flat brush. I don't know if I own a flat brush, which is kind of crazy. The two foundation that she used were these ones here, and it's the NARS Soft Matte and Radiant one. I have really bad allergies, so if his eye is looking a little bit droopy or runny, that's what's going on, okay? So she applies her foundation in a wiping motion, and then she buffs it out. I don't have a flat brush, so I'm just gonna have to use the same brush to do both. So she goes in with a pretty neutral concealer. Um, I don't know if neutral is something that's like something to note, but I am a neutral undertone person, so that's my un that's my preferred um, concealer undertone. Um, so she does apply her concealer kind of like underneath the eyes to the sides of her nose here. So she did go a little bit below her nose length. So I'm gonna do the same thing. She then goes into bronze, and I don't have the same NARS cream bronzer that she has, but I've actually used that one before, and it is really, really, really good. It's okay, the Sephora sale is going on right now, so I'm gonna add it to my cart as soon as I finish this video. I have to go in with my Westman Atelier um, contour. Just put a little bit here, a little bit here. By her eyes here. So she has way more space between her brows and her lids than I do. So I can't really do the exact placement. So I'm kind of like improvising at the same time. Chilling to really bring that shape. And she blends with a pretty small concentrated brush. So we're going to do the same. She said she recommends using something really, really small because it helps to just keep the product in those areas, keep things nice and clean. And I'm a little bit nervous now because this is kind of like where I, you kind of lose me. See, right now the concealer is touching the bronzer. Like, I don't know why. Exactly where I put them. I added a bit more product. Now started blending out her under eye concealer. And she said that she likes when her concealer sits like this because it doesn't move around too much. And I definitely get that. I get that 100% because it is not moving. It is definitely staying in the areas that we placed it. I'm using a Iconic Beauty blush um, brush here to blend out the concealer. It is a concealer brush. If and when I do this again, I will use less concealer just because I have a lot of product right now to work with. A lot. And I don't really think I needed this much. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. And see, this one blended out more safe. Brush to just okay. top of this brush right here, just kind of blend out that middle part of the nose, the bridge. Panic, don't panic, don't panic. 
taking this kind of fluffy brush here, we're gonna use this to kind of blend out the contour on the nose. Vidya gives me like learning to do makeup for the first time vibes. I know she does this or not, but I need to do this. I need to just go back in with my foundation brush just to kind of blend those lines out um, because they are a little bit, they are a lot. Um, she now goes in with a super light concealer. Okay, I'm kind of nervous. This is a lighter concealer, but it's not too, too light as you guys can see. It's not too, too bad. And I'm just gonna keep that right here. And she kind of blends this out going up on the nose a little bit. Which honestly, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but that definitely did something. I don't know what, <laughs> but it definitely did something. She then sets her face with Huda Beauty's Easy Bake in the shade Banana Bread. She does recommend patting some product off, and I recommend that too. This powder is not for the weak. As much as it's like a light powder, it does adjust or kind of like blend into the skin. Whether you're dark skin, whatever your shade is, it's a really great powder. Has she put it anywhere else? In different ways. Take it here. So I'm not taking that. I'll bring my life back in with bronzer. She says she doesn't mind if it gets everywhere because she likes to bring her life back in with bronzer. She then goes in with a bronzer. I don't know she goes in what bronzer she goes in with, but I'm just gonna, or if it's cream or powder. So I'm just gonna go in with my bronzer using the Patrick Ta palette again. And I'm just using the powder to the um, cream. And I'm just, just gonna keep it pretty high as well. I think she definitely does that. Then goes in with a one size powder. I'm just gonna cut off a little bit on the back here. I actually love the packaging of this as well. I feel like it makes it really easy to use the product and prevent that mess with the clear lid. So she does use this powder to, to brighten the face. But she also pats it on the back of her hand, which I'm definitely going to do too because I'm scared. Okay, let's just apply this. Ah! Wow, it's actually really brightening. Listen, I've wanted the UK girl under eye for so long and this is how they get it. Okay. She said to take your bronzer brush, whatever brush you use for your bronzer, and just go back over those areas, like the edges, to make sure that everything is blended. I think this might be the end of her base routine. This took me like 35 minutes to do, and it looks really, really good in my opinion. We just said that she filled in her brows a little bit. She kind of forgot to do this at the beginning, but I'm gonna do that too. Although I have my brows micro-shaded, sometimes I do forget to fill them in as well. Not that I need to, but I do like when they look a little bit I don't know, like stronger. I love a strong brow. She does go in with a setting spray to kind of like blend the powders out a little bit because we did use a lot of powder. This is a waterproof formula. So I'd probably go with something more water-based just to kind of really blend out the powders, you know? So this is it for her base routine. I actually think this looks pretty good. I think I did a great job. She does go into like um, um, eyeshadows and stuff, but I think I should click out because I'm not an eyeshadow girl. But I'm gonna follow on like silently here, see what she comes up with. I'm gonna be using the Vanessa Myricks palette. This is my favorite neutral palette, I feel like right now. So I'm gonna be using this. gonna stop um, with with the tutorial here just because her eye look is I didn't realize it was a lot more vampy than I like prefer so I'm just going to stop here um, she did do a, a nice little neutral base which I meant to follow but I did it all wrong but it's fine I'm just gonna keep the brown in the crease and apply a little neutral tone like eyeshadow using my Valentino Beauty Eyeliner, I'm gonna use this for my mole and my winged liner. I'm gonna do a very skinny line. YSL Beauty Mascara. If you know, you know. Everyone's been asking me about my lip combo from my previous video, my hair routine, and it's a MAC Chestnut Lip Liner.
It's my YSL Beauty Candy Glaze in number two. Alright guys, I think we're finished. I think we're finished. Definitely see a difference in my face and by using her techniques, whether it be blending or like the brush usage and also the products that she used too. They are really, really good and they work really well with each other. I love the results for sure. Very subtle, but very sultry and more refined, I think. Do you like it? Do you think I should keep this routine going? Would you try this routine out? Oh, let me know what you guys think down below because I'm obsessed.